The Tesla Semi is one of the three major products coming in 2026 that Elon Musk emphasized during the Tesla shareholder meeting event. Although it's a highly regarded vehicle, Elon Musk has rarely talked about the Semi truck lately, and there are three reasons for that. First, it's still in the testing phase. Its current specs, performance, and design are all prototype level, mainly for data collection. Second, Tesla still doesn't have a fully automated production line or a dedicated factory for the Semi. The total number of semi-trucks produced since 2017 is only around 300 units. Finally, the Tesla Semi still hasn't achieved what Elon Musk ultimately wants, a feature that could transform the entire trucking industry if successfully integrated. Full self-driving. Yes, the big thing the Semi has been missing is full self-driving. However, Tesla has now solved all three of these issues for the newest version of the Semi. This will be the official production version rather than the current test prototype. It will be built entirely at the company's newly completed factory, making Musk's target of 50,000 trucks per year realistically achievable. Elon Musk has also revealed several major changes the Tesla team has made to the Gen 2 Semi to enable successful FSD integration. So what's new in this version? And how will the Tesla Semi convince truck drivers to make the switch? Let's get started. The Tesla Semi was first introduced in 2017, and deliveries began in 2022, and it has pretty much been stuck in that state ever since. The total number of semi-trucks produced so far is only around 250 units. Elon Musk has admitted that the current semis operating at Tesla, as well as those delivered to customers, are essentially prototypes. These were just test versions used to gather feedback before the company moves into producing a more highly refined version, which is why the semi-truck has almost kept the same design since 2017. However, it's time for it to be refreshed, to look more futuristic and, more importantly, to achieve autonomous capability. Yeah, the world's first Class 8 truck that can haul cargo in an autonomous state. Although the Semi was not the main focus of the recent event, Elon Musk revealed a lot of major information about this model. He stated that the Semi refresh can be seen as a comprehensive update with significant changes and ambitions. Visually, there is no doubt that the most noticeable exterior upgrade is the front end. The Tesla Semi now features headlights styled after the Model Y and Cybertruck. I don't know how you feel, but we actually really like the headlights on the original Tesla Semi prototype. They look like the truck's eyes and the illumination was quite impressive. However, that doesn't mean we are unhappy with the new design. The new headlights, stretching across the front of the cabin, look more contemporary, aerodynamic, and sleek. Tesla has also equipped the Semi with a new front bumper while the roofline now has smoother and more rounded contours. And guess what? The current Semi already has an incredibly low drag coefficient for a Class 8 truck at just 0.36. That's why it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 20 seconds. With the refreshed version, it will certainly have an even lower drag coefficient. 0.34 is completely achievable. But don't think this is insignificant. You might not know it but even a small 0.02 improvement in the drag coefficient can help reduce energy consumption by up to 5 to 7%, meaning the travel range could increase by tens of miles per charge. Yeah, you know, current diesel trucks have a drag coefficient ranging from 0.65 to 0.7. They consume more energy, reduce acceleration performance, and generate more wind noise. With a drag coefficient that is only half that of traditional diesel trucks, the Tesla Semi practically cuts through the wind on the highway. What do you think about the Semi's new light bar? Which set of headlights do you prefer? On top of that, the chassis is more optimized, and the Semi's base weight drops below 23,000 pounds, which improves payload and range. And when it's time to charge, it'll support 1.2 megawatt ultra-fast charging, using Tesla's high-power charging hardware to hit those speeds. When it comes to the battery, Tesla's going with a two-track strategy. The long-range Semi will use 4680 cells, the high-density tabless design that keeps power stable even when the truck is pulling heavy loads at highway speeds. The shorter-range version will use LFP cells, which are ultra-durable, about 40% cheaper, and perfect for city routes or delivery runs in the 100 to 200-mile range. For companies that only need short-distance operations, that lower-range Semi is expected to come in at around $160,000. For years, the Tesla Semi has held a certain title, Tesla's number one vehicle. But that's not a compliment. It's notorious for being the hardest to produce, the most expensive, and the most doubted. Yeah, number one in negative reviews. People mocked it, ridiculed it, 
and even flat out declared it would never be capable of replacing diesel in long haul trucking. But then reality began to change, not because of Tesla's words, not because of flashy promo videos, but because of real numbers coming from some of the largest transportation companies in the world. DHL, the global logistics giant, just received its first Tesla Semi. And the first thing they did wasn't a PR photo shoot or a safe little internal test drive. Instead, they immediately threw the truck onto a 390-mile long-haul route carrying a full 75,000-pound load. What shocked both their engineering team and the entire trucking industry was this. The Semi completed the entire trip on a single charge and still arrived with battery to spare. No one thought this was possible, but that wasn't even the most shocking part. Over a two-week testing period, DHL ran a total of 3,000 miles with the Semi, averaging more than 50 miles per hour, and measured an energy consumption of just 1.72 kilowatt hours per mile. Far better than the 2 to 2.2 kilowatt hours per mile seen in most electric trucks today. Emphasizing the impressive results of the big rig, Jim Monkmeyer, President Transportation DHL Supply Chain North America said, Our pilot of the Tesla Semi exceeded expectations, proving its ability to efficiently haul a typical DHL freight over long distances on a single charge. DHL uses the Semi truck for about 100 miles of deliveries per day, even though it's fully capable of running 500 miles. DHL says the Semi only needs to be charged about once a week, and it's expected to reduce 50 tons of greenhouse gas emissions per year. The company plans to order more semi-trucks in 2026 when Tesla has larger production volume available. Previously, the Tesla Semi also received highly positive feedback from veteran truck drivers. Tom Sturba, a longtime driver at Saya, praised the Semi's technology as a major leap forward for the industry. He said the truck's navigation system is unbelievable, and he has no desire to go back to a diesel truck. He even hopes to retire while driving the Semi. I do not want <laughs> I do not want to go back to a gas truck. Uh, I like to retire in this vehicle, and uh, as long as Saya keeps them around here, I will uh, definitely uh, retire in this vehicle. There's an interesting fact that not many people know. Diesel trucks often arrive later than electric trucks in many cases because EVS climb hills faster and maintain higher speeds. This was clearly demonstrated in Tesla semi testing. It can climb 8 to 10% grades at 60 miles per hour. On a 1,000 mile trip, an electric truck can actually arrive up to two hours earlier. Of course, you do have to charge, which takes about 40 minutes to an hour, but you still arrive almost at the same time as a diesel truck, while paying far less per mile. And electric trucks can last two to three times longer than diesel trucks. Another veteran driver, Michael Davis, said he volunteered as soon as the Tesla Semi was introduced. He noted that the truck has not disappointed him, especially because it is incredibly powerful. They asked me, hey, who wants to drive it? Well, I was a senior driver. I said, yeah, I will drive it. I want to drive it. I want to drive something new. So I wanted to drive that Tesla truck and it did not disappoint at all. The Tesla Semi isn't just performing well. It's far exceeding Tesla's own claims. This may be the first time in Tesla's history that the company has actually underestimated one of its own products. And this is exactly why Elon Musk has officially designated the Semi as one of the three core products for 2026, alongside the RoboTaxi and Optimus. Okay, operating cost is always the key factor determining the success of any truck lineup, and this is where the Tesla Semi truly shines against traditional diesel trucks. Although the initial purchase price of the Tesla Semi may be somewhat high, over its operational lifespan, it provides massive savings enough to offset and far exceed the initial outlay. First, let's consider energy cost, the single largest component of truck operation. An average diesel truck consumes about one gallon of fuel every 6.5 miles. With diesel fuel prices in the U.S. around $3.50 per gallon, the operating cost is equivalent to 44 cents per mile. In contrast, the Tesla Semi only consumes 1.7 kilowatt hours of electricity per mile. At the average commercial electricity price in California of approximately 18 cents per kilowatt hour, the cost is only about 30 cents per mile, nearly 45 percent cheaper than a diesel truck. If an average truck drives 100,000 miles per year, the Tesla Semi would incur about $30,000 in electricity costs, while an equivalent diesel truck would require $54,000 for fuel. This $24,000 annual difference represents a huge advantage and when multiplied over a 10-year lifespan, 
the total savings can reach $240,000, nearly the purchase price of the Tesla Semi itself. Beyond fuel savings, the Semi also significantly reduces maintenance costs. Traditional diesel trucks have thousands of moving mechanical parts, internal combustion engines, transmissions, clutches, exhaust systems, turbochargers, etc., all requiring periodic maintenance or replacement every few hundred thousand kilometers. In contrast, the Tesla Semi uses an electric powertrain that is virtually maintenance-free, with no oil changes, no spark plugs, no transmission, and far fewer wear and tear parts. Tesla estimates the Semi's maintenance costs are approximately 60 to 70 percent lower than those of diesel trucks. Furthermore, the regenerative braking system substantially minimizes brake pad wear, a considerable expense for heavy trucks that frequently descend hills or engage in continuous stop-and-go driving. Coupled with the ability to use electric motor braking, brake life can be extended three to four times longer than conventional diesel trucks. When considering total cost of ownership, the Tesla Semi clearly excels. According to calculations by Tesla and customers like PepsiCo and Walmart, each Semi can save more than $200,000 to $250,000 over its lifespan compared to a diesel truck. The Tesla Semi is about more than performance and savings. Elon Musk has confirmed that full self-driving capability will soon be integrated into the truck, with deployment expected by the end of 2025, aligning with the start of mass production. Full self-driving isn't just a tech feature. It's a solution to the ongoing truck driver shortage in the U.S., where harsh working conditions have made the profession less appealing. With FSD, the Semi will be able to handle highway driving autonomously, reducing stress and fatigue-related accidents, while also optimizing delivery schedules. That we actually have a shortage of truck drivers in America. That's one of the limiting factors on transport. Um, and, um, you know, and, and uh, people are human, so they get tired and sometimes, and, you know, there's, it, it, it's, you know, I have a lot of respect for truck drivers because it's a tough job. Um, but because it's a tough job, there's not that many people that want to do it. So when you consider, okay, there's more people leaving truck driving as a profession than entering it, well, we're going to have a real logistics problem as time goes by. So uh, autonomy will be very important to meet that, that need. This is the crux that Elon Musk repeatedly emphasizes when discussing the future of the transportation industry. Integrating full self-driving into the Tesla Semi will not only be a technological leap, but also a revolution in logistics. Musk firmly believes that the Tesla Semi will reach new heights when equipped with full self-driving expected to roll out as early as late this year, coinciding with the ramp-up of tractor-trailer production. This is particularly significant because the Tesla Semi is not just an electric truck. It's the world's first Class 8 truck capable of high-level autonomous driving, ushering in an entirely new chapter for global long-haul transport. The vision Tesla paints is no longer far-fetched. A heavy-duty truck, the largest, most powerful vehicle in the transport industry, capable of self-driving for most of its journey. This will fundamentally transform how the logistics industry operates. Imagine, routes spanning hundreds of miles no longer a grueling ordeal for drivers, thanks to the Semi's reliable autonomous capabilities. While drivers will still need to be present to monitor and handle certain situations, the automated system will significantly reduce their stress, fatigue, and workload, greatly enhancing safety during operations. The chronic shortage of long-haul truck drivers is a persistent challenge, driven by harsh working conditions, long driving shifts, constant engine noise, and relentless delivery pressures. Numerous accidents caused by drowsy drivers have sounded the alarm about the sustainability of this profession. Tesla understands this which is why they aren't developing full self-driving merely as a technological perk, but as a comprehensive solution to improve drivers' working environment, making the job safer, more comfortable, and more sustainable. When the Tesla Semi enters large-scale production with full self-driving technology, the transportation industry will witness an unprecedented shift. Drivers will no longer need to focus and grip the steering wheel throughout the entire journey. On highways, the truck can operate smoothly on its own, allowing drivers to rest without interrupting delivery schedules. This not only improves drivers' physical and mental health, but also enables businesses to optimize transport efficiency in ways never seen before. The environmental impact of the semi is just as important. 
although heavy-duty trucks make up only 1% of vehicles in the U.S. They account for 18% of greenhouse gas emissions. Saving 1 million gallons of diesel equates to cutting 22,400 tons of CO2, a significant contribution to the fight against climate change. The semi's drag coefficient of 0.4, much lower than the typical 0.8 of traditional trucks, reduces charging needs and boosts energy efficiency. Elon Musk has already confirmed that the Tesla Semi will be rolled out globally. However, global expansion won't be without its challenges. For example, in Australia, a promising market for electric trucks, the current truck size regulations are a barrier preventing the Tesla Semi's approval. While efforts to amend these laws are already underway, it will take time before the semi can operate there at full scale. For instance, the truck exceeds the maximum legal width, measuring 8.5 feet compared to the 8.37 feet limit typically allowed in most European countries. On top of this, European markets tend to favor cab over designs, which are more compact and allow for maximized cargo space. However, the Tesla semi uses a more traditional long nose, conventional design which is more common in American trucks. To make the semi compatible with European standards, Tesla may need to make design adjustments that accommodate both the regulatory requirements and the practical needs of European freight operators. The Tesla semi is not just a technological advancement, but also a truck that could lure the younger generation of drivers back to the US trucking industry. Instead of sitting for hours in a noisy, hot and shaky cabin like traditional diesel trucks, the Semi offers a driving experience similar to a premium electric vehicle. The central driving position, 360-degree visibility, modern dual touchscreen displays, and advanced driver assistance systems make controlling an 80,000-pound heavy truck feel smoother and more intuitive than ever before. In particular, the full self-driving capability being developed by Tesla promises to be a major game-changer. When FSD is activated, drivers can allow the truck to operate autonomously on the highway, significantly reducing stress and fatigue during those long, multi-thousand-mile trips. This will not only enhance safety, but also help improve the physical and mental well-being of drivers, who are among the most highly stressed groups in the transportation industry. What is the one feature you would like to see added to the Semi-Gen 2's cabin design? In your opinion, which is a bigger challenge for the trucking industry? Drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the next update on Tesla's journey toward full autonomy. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay charged, stay curious.